So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a spaghetti squash. What you need to do is you need to cut your squash in half and then you need to get all of the seeds out of it and then we'll do the next step. They look like when they are cleaned out. Next thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of olive oil on this and then you baste them down and you cook them in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. So it is ready to come out. What you do is you need to let these sit and cool for about 10 minutes because when we take them out we're gonna have to scrape them and we're gonna have to use our hands so we definitely don't want them to be this hot. For our taco keto bowls, what we're gonna do is we brown some ground beef. We have one cup of water mixed in with some taco seasoning. Um, this is no sugar added taco seasoning that I got from Aldi. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda mix this in and let it all come together. Okay, so these are cool enough to where we can do this. It's super simple, you just start doing this and it starts to peel right off. And that is what spaghetti squash looks like. Okay, so the next step is to assemble our boat. So we put a little bit of the taco meat in there. I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese. Then we're gonna put our spaghetti squash back in there with some more taco meat. And you can add anything that you want to to this. If you want to do lettuce, if you want to do, um, well, tomatoes really aren't super keto friendly, but if you want to, you can do it. We are going to do the taco meat with just some cheese and sour cream. We are going to put just a little bit more of this as a filling onto it, but... There you could also go. do like avocado. Yes, avocado would be in. delicious to get your fats in. But here it is. Then you can just take a fork and start eating it. Yeah. Taste yum. tester. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the cheese is like gooey. Mmm. That's really good. I How's like the it. texture? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, but I do like, I like zoodles and I've never had squash but I've had zucchini and this is really good mm, yummy 